It's go time. It's go time. Here they come, here they come. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I decided it was a wise move not to run today, not to race today. Bill, good to see you. All right, Bill, thank you for saying hello. That was amazing, love Bill. He's just like this legendary runner in Denver. He's like at all the races, love Bill. So, all right guys, I decided not to race today. Been sick all week, but it's still important as a runner to get out there volunteer, spectate, cheer, just be a support for all of these amazing runners out here crushing it today at the Santa Stampede. It's amazing, like look at these guys, they're just crushing it. Go guys, go! Anyway, it's just so fun, ah, oh, come on. Here comes the 10K finisher, 10K top finishers coming in right now. There we go. 
mix uh, mix endorphins with Christmas cookies, and you just get a lot of good, joyful cheer out here, man. Oh, and shout out to Michael for uh, just coming up and saying hello. Michael took third today in the 10K. Crushing it, Michael, crushing it. And actually, Michael and I, we raced each other in college. Small world, small world. Congrats to all the runners. That was so fun. Oh, man, I haven't, like spectated and just cheered at a race in a while so it's good to do that every now and then tough not to race uh it, you know but I, I think i made the right decision made the right decision oh man just uh, a lot of joy and uh <laughs> cheering and smiling out there so all right guys heading back to the house Woo! remember what i said yesterday remember what i said yesterday everybody Do you guys want a little something from Bev? Whoa. What's in this? Whoa. What's no, come here, come here, Joe. Ah. <gasps> oh, you say thank you. Thank you. Mm. Just one cookie. Papa's only had one. Thank you. Well, look who just pulled up. Hi, everybody. Look who just pulled Hi. up. Oh, come on, Princess. Oh, Where's Mama's kiss? Mama, looking good. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi, we had fun. Mama was at a tea this morning. A ladies', a ladies tea. Oh, hi, yes. Candy. We're just, eating, uh, we're just eating Christmas cookies here. Oh, brilliant. Whoops. Mail time, mail time. I, I ordered a couple items for the vlog to help with creating videos for you guys, but then there's this third mystery package that we're gonna get to here in a second from, where is it from? Arizona, from Arizona. So very interesting. And, uh, but first let's open up this package right here. What do we got going on? I, I don't know which, I just ordered a couple things to help make better videos for you guys. Let's see, what is this first package here? Yes, sir. It's a thermometer. Dun, da, 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 dun, da, da, da. First two items. The first, a thermometer, and the second is a anemometer. Why did I, oh, first of all, what is an anemometer? This tracks the wind speed. So, and it also tracks the wind chill. So as I'm progressing through December and into January, and I'm gonna give you guys my reviews about these different clothing items that I am using for running out in the frigid temperatures, although it's not frigid yet in Denver, but it's coming. I wanna make sure I'm communicating to you the accurate temperatures, the uh, humidity levels, the wind speed, and the wind chill, so that you have a full picture and an accurate, uh, yeah, an accurate picture of what the elements are outside as I'm giving, as I'm communicating to you, okay, these gloves work in 15 to 30 degree temperatures, but they don't work below 15 degrees, like your fingers will freeze off. Or this jacket, my nice yellow jacket that I was wearing earlier today, it's like that jacket is gonna be good in humidity levels that are below 75%, but over 75%, maybe it won't work so well. Does that make sense? So I got these instruments to track as I'm up in the mountains, especially, but even down here in Denver. So I, I'm just communicating clear uh, data to you as I'm reviewing gear for you. And this, will, this could actually impact shoes to a certain ex extent as well. Um, if it's, you know, if it's below zero, I'm, I'll be curious to see how that impacts the foam on different types of shoes. Anyway, I digress. This is exciting. Stay tuned. It just got, it needs to get a little colder here in Denver. It's not quite cold enough yet. And this will be good for summertime. Okay. Package number three is from Jeff 
in Arizona. Jeff in Arizona. You remember Jeff? I thought it'd be neat to come out and take a run with him, so we're here. That's right. Jeff came to Denver. He's from Arizona, and we did a run together. He's a fan of the vlog. He watches from Arizona, and he sent me this box. I have no idea what's in it. Oh my gosh, Jeff, you're amazing. Let's see. Let's, let's see here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is in here? Yes. Yes. Uh, da, da, da. I see t-shirts. I see t-shirts. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh my, you are gonna die. You ready for this? You re First of all, I think you nailed the color. Look at this, guys. Bum, 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 da, da. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. SJD. And then I have my sunglasses and my backward hat, which I'm wearing right now. This is, of course, for Michael. Look at that. That's a small 2T t-shirt. Oh my gosh, Jeff. And of course, they've got, we've got size. Jeff, you're amazing. This is blowing my mind. So this is probably for Joseph, for Seth, to love. Oh my gosh, to love. And then this is probably for me. Oh my gosh. Jeff, thank you so much. This is incredible. I'm putting it on right now. I'm putting it on right now this moment. Oh, my, my. Actually, let me stand up. <laughs> Jeff, oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Come on now. I think we have our first uh, merch, everybody. I think we have our first merch. Okay, if you've been watching for a little while now, you know I've been talking about creating t-shirts and probably hats and who knows, maybe like gloves for you guys, for the fans and for the YouTube family. And so Jeff, you crushed it. This is amazing. And by the way, good design, Jeff. You did a real good job. I don't know who designed this, but look at that. Can you see that there? So thank you again, Jeff. Thank you again. And to you and your family in Arizona. And um, just so everyone knows, I am working toward the goal of having some merchandise. It's not it's not ready. I, we're in the very early production stages of creating an entire lineup of Butter My Bread and Seek Beauty, Work Hard, Love Each Other, and all that good stuff. So, Jeff, you might just get this ball rolling though. You might just get this ball rolling. Okay, I don't even know what else to say. Uh, we're gonna surprise True Love here in a minute, hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh! From Jeff in Arizona. What? It gets better. No! Oh! <laughs> oh! That is so precious! Thank you, Jeff. This is who I ran with at Wash Park a couple of weeks ago. You know how it goes. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Woo! <laughs> Amazing. Just watching my Broncos, watching my Broncos play the Browns, play the Browns, and yes, enjoying a little Christmas cookie. You better believe it. It's December, folks. It's December. All right, the question of the day, but let me tee it up first. How do you connect today's race footage, which was so fun to go out there and cheer and film for you guys, and what arrived today at our house, this box from Jeff in Arizona, these t-shirts, amazing Jeff, seek beauty, work hard, love each other. How do you connect these two to formulate 
a good and solid question of the day. So my wheels have been turning up there for the last couple hours and I just was thinking, wait a minute, yes, yes, this is the question of the day. Now think about it, runners, when you go to a race and you receive your race packet and you open up that bag and what's inside? A bunch of flyers, maybe like some toothpaste and a keychain. And you're like, great, great, throw it in the trash, throw it in the trash. You're like, what, what? Some, okay, Mo I'm exaggerating a little bit. Most often you do receive a t-shirt, which is amazing. Uh, sometimes you receive socks, which is fine, like good, you know, good pair of socks, never, you know, that that's good. But the question of the day, for the rest of your life, if there could be one item, or maybe two items in that race packet bag that you pick up that you would actually use so often I pick up these race packets and I'm so let down and disappointed I'm, I'm just gonna throw this away and so this is critical think about it what would be the one or two items that you would love to be in your race packets for the rest of your life you know whether it's like and think outside the box you know like great t-shirts great dry fit t-shirts great but like, we have so many t-shirts as runners, we don't even know what to do with them. It's like half the time we're like, okay, we'll wear them for a month and then we have to get rid of them, donate them to Goodwill because we, we have too many. So think, stop. I have a couple ideas going in my mind. I'm not gonna mention them because I, I, I don't wanna skew your answer. I wanna just hear from you. What are the one or two items you would love to receive in your race packet? Sound good? Oh, this is a this is critical. And yes, I have dreams and aspirations to be a race director someday, perhaps when there's you know when I'm retired or something. But uh, I do, and so it's like your insight and your input will impact future race directors. I'll just put it that way. I'll just put it that way. Seek beauty, as Jeff would say. Work hard and love each other. Thanks for being here. Mm, mm, mm. See you tomorrow. And yes, almost forgot. Keyword of the day, packet. You know why, you know why.